Welcome everybody. This video brought to you by Transwest Network Solutions will be an overview of an optional feature that may be available to you within your Unified Communicator Advanced. If licensed, your UCA may have a console application. If this feature is available, I highly recommend that you view the UCA Advanced Training video prior to viewing this particular video as some of the features available within your UCA will also apply to the UCA console. So let's get started here. You can see that I have my UCA open and running on my desktop. To find the console, we'll come to our main menu, select our drop down, and open the console. I'll move my communicator off to the side. I can minimize it or I can leave it off to the side of my screen. What we'll do here today is we'll just have a brief explanation of some of your call controls. We will talk about active calls, transferred calls. We'll actually make a call, we'll transfer a call, then we'll transition down into this area here and have a brief little discussion. So, right off the bat, my F1 key, or this icon here, pops my help tab, which I've actually done. Let me pop that uh, help tab open to the particular page that I wanted to point out to you and what I did is I opened my help function and I just um, input call handling I did a quick search to access an explanation of my icons of course you always can hover over an icon to get a brief overview of what it actually does Most people in the beginning seem to have a little bit of difficulty understanding what an unsupervised transfer versus what a supervised transfer is. So here's our explanation right here. An unsupervised transfer routes the call immediately to your selected contact and automatically disconnects the call from your phone. That's the quickest, easiest way to route a call to a coworker but maybe you wish to choose a supervised transfer maybe you wish to announce that caller to your coworker prior to releasing that call to your coworker so here's our explanation sets up a call from your contacts which provides an opportunity to announce the call based upon the contacts response then you can complete the transfer or cancel the transfer to come back to the caller so that's a brief overview of our two options when we transfer a call. I'll minimize this. Here we have a key labeled transfer to voicemail. This simply tra transfers a call directly to someone's mailbox. And here we have an F8 key. By default the F8 um, comes up with no action. You have the capability of changing these particular keys. I'm just going to right click on the key and I'm going to swap the key function and here's where I input the feature that I wish that particular key to perform for me. So that's a quick overview of our keys and let's actually place a call real quick just so we can see one. So let's input uh, a phone number. We'll hit enter to place the call. Now you can see the call is currently active. There's my knowledge management window. I'm going to cancel that as I answer this cell phone. Now remember the training series that we had on the UCA Advance, the knowledge management. If you wish to disable any of those screen pops such as we just saw that knowledge management, please review the Unified Communicator Advanced training video to disable any screen pops such as the knowledge management screen pop. So here we have the hang up feature we can actually hold that call. We'll hit the hold and you can see it's holding and we've been connected to that call for 43 seconds. So I can actually come back to the call or I can simply double click the call to come back to the call and we'll hang up at this particular point. So we've cleared, we've taken and uh, received our first call. In order to go back to my contacts I must clear out this field by dragging my mouse and selecting the delete function. That will clear this search field and take me back to my TransWest corporate directory. As you can see, these are some of my staff members here within the office. 
and do, we can take a quick peek. John's on the phone. Kirsty's on the phone. Um, Jessica, she's in the office. Remember that green balloon that we discussed when we had the UCA advanced training? We can see that Jessica has her UCA open. I can right click on Jessica and here are all of the call controls that were available to me within my UCA advanced. So if these call controls um, are unfamiliar to you, I would highly recommend watching the UCA the Unified Communicator Advanced Training Series prior to this video. So you can um, have a um, idea of what uh, collaboration is all about and knowledge management and so on. So there's my uh, options available when I right click one of my uh, co-workers. Now this is my corporate contact directory. For my drop down I can select my personal contacts and remember when you viewed the other video that your personal contacts are actually your Outlook co contacts that you've imported into your UCA into this area right here. And then you do have a favorites here within the console as well. You can build some favorites within the console. As an example, we want to throw Jessica into a favorites. So we'll simply right click her and we will select add to favorites. There we go. Jessica didn't go anywhere. She's still within our TransWest corporate directory, but now I can find her within my favorites. And then I have Jessica right here. I can simply right click and um, I can select remove from favorites. Back to my corporate directory. Okay. Now we can view our corporate contacts by button view, such as we're seeing here, or my drop down, I, you know, I can watch people as a list form. So button view seems to be most common. So let's actually talk about this area over here. You can um, build a personal uh, directory within this area here. So two ways to do it. You can simply click and drag. You may throw people up into this area here that you transfer to most often. We'll just throw a couple people in there or you can right click and you can create a new group and you can give it a group name and then you such as sales and then you can add salespeople within this group here to delete that group I simply right click in the blue area and select delete so we've thrown a couple people up into our uh, quick dial area so let's actually place a call again I'll hit enter. I'll clear this field and answer that call. So, notice right now, Audria, she's highlighted in blue. She's the last person that I single left clicked on. So, who I wish to transfer the call to. As an example, if I'm going to transfer that call to Chris, I'm going to single left click on Chris and I'm going to select unsupervised transfer to route that call directly to Chris. Now notice it's left my active call directory and Chris just answered the phone. Hey Chris, we're just placing a test call. Thanks for answering. Bye bye. I'll hang up my cell phone. So that's how we can do a unsupervised transfer. We also have some items available to us down here at the bottom of our screen. I can simply highlight somebody and select call. If they have their UCA running, I simply click and then I can do a chat or an instant message with them. Now, recall these dynamic status messages that were available to all of your UCA users. If I'm licensed, as a console user, I can change somebody's dynamic status message. As an example, Denise is currently in the office. We can change that. We can mark her at lunch. We'll select OK. Now notice 
her color of her icon has changed and her status message is currently at lunch so let's change that back we don't want to play around with Denise too much I believe she was in the office so we will set her back to in the office um, if I select information there's Denise's picture that she's loaded and any information that she may have included when she went through her setup process within the UCA so we'll cancel that and if I wish I could simply click this button to leave her a quick voicemail without ringing her phone so that's a real brief overview of the UCA console feature and please see your TransWest uh, trainer if you have any additional questions you may contact us on the web at www.twns thank you for joining today and enjoy using your mitel uca